Yeah, actually, so so our strategy hits across all of our businesses. Okay. So as you'll see, that, that we were looking forward to sort of the you know the operational efficiencies and the um, and, and and the quality service yeah. benefits across both wireless consumer and our enterprise. I specifically focus on enterprise, so I spend a lot of time on it. Um, and it is something that's being asked for by our customers. So if you really think about it, this technology originally grew up in the data center, yep. and it solved the problem that people had in terms of managing an environment where you had uh, a lot of flexibility with the virtualized resources around compute and storage, and then you got kind of the edge of the data center, and the networking stuff required a whole stack of boxes, right? It's a build another box problem that people have, and, it, and, and, and deploying that technology is complicated, mm -hmm. it's expensive, and it's, it's, it's not necessarily flexible. And so the reason there's a lot of interest is, is obviously with SDN and NFE, there's the possibility of automating and, 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 and making that whole structure much more efficient. Um, with the advances in that technology, as well as sort of advances in, the, in both the chipsets as well as the standards bodies, the ability to deploy that beyond the data center wall is, 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 is arisen. And so people are looking for applications beyond kind of where this originally started, moved out into the, into the core network. And you see a lot of, of, of interest there now. Mm -hmm. so, SDN and NFE technology is probably, from my perspective, not. It's not going to replace the core of the network next week. Right? <laughs> but what I, we have seen is a lot of interest from our customers in a number of use cases. People don't buy technology; they buy solutions, right? And and so this helps in in, in several instances where people are looking, uh, for example, in the branch environment for solutions that let them leverage sort of multiple access technologies that may exist at a particular location, whether it be MQLS and broadband or MQLS and wireless, um, and, and being able to optimize kind of the, the, the treatment and flow of traffic and then the security that you wrap around that at those sites. So, and this technology has the opportunity to provide a better experience in that respect. So we see a lot of interest there. Uh, you obviously see a lot of interest for folks that have this, this technology set up in the data center today to be able to extend it between data centers or across into other high priority sites. So we see that as a use case. Um, from the NFV perspective, uh, the NFV based solutions for security um, solve a problem where traditional solutions have been difficult, more complex to implement at the edge. Uh, they may require a lot of gear that, that hasn't been cost effective for doing that or hasn't been able to meet that need. So sort of virtualization in the security space is, is another use case we see a lot of opportunity in, in terms of it just provides a better answer for a broader scope of, of users. And then, you know, I can keep going on this, right? When you look at WAN optimization, WAN optimization when offered in NFV style solutions is actually better than the traditional solutions because it covers the whole experience from the data center through to the end user as opposed to just one segment. So those kinds of use cases are exciting for people because they provide a better solution. And that's why we're pursuing this. It's in the interest, again, you keep in mind, connecting users to apps, everything we can do to make that safer, more secure, and simpler is a good thing. And that's where we're, we're, we're focused.